Alright, what's up YouTube? This your boy Sinister. I'm actually going to show y'all how to actually get a payout for your lumper and your trailer washout and the procedures that you got to do. First thing you got to do is go into messaging, compose, and I'm going to start from the bottom. So you're going to go and you're going to look for need PO and over here at night it's macro 18 then you're gonna hit it you're gonna say I need a PO and put yes and I'm gonna show y'all like if I was doing one I need a TCH code I always put yes right here the trip that I did before this one I'm on I needed $50 for the lumper my trip number for that. I got the old paperwork with me right here and I'm gonna show y'all that. One, three, six, one, six, six, nine. And that's your load number. Also, trip or your load number. Then it's gonna say four and you can put lumper. And then down here in this corner, I will actually hit send which is the keyboard right there and that was sent out to my dispatcher now when you hear at night I call my dispatcher and let him know hey I need that payout for that lumper and he'll process it faster so it might it might not be the same at your company but this is the same procedure different macros at each company then from there what you're gonna do is they're going to send you the information. Let me uh, get up out of this. Um, I'm going to go down to when I actually got it. Here we go. PO authorized for lumper for that trip. This PO reference number, that 0453873. You're gonna leave, you're gonna need that that number right there. So let me write this on on my book so I can show y'all where that goes when it's done. Seven three, and it shows you the amount that I request, and then back out, advance authorization. This long number right here is gonna go on your checkbook. And I'm going to do an example and I'm going to waste one just to give y'all a good idea of what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to write the number out on the on my uh, notepad. 0, so now that I got that, we're going to go from the Qualcomm to now you got to go to your checkbook. Now, this is the same procedure that you will have to do if it was an EFS check. Just different authorization code, but you still have to do the same steps. So, open it up. And what you're going to do is... You're gonna you're gonna put your driver's license number right here, the state that your license is from. You're gonna write how much you're paying them. You're gonna put fifty dollars right there, and remember that long authorization number right here. This is gonna go down here, and this box all the way up to the last white box. Nothing goes into these two gray boxes, and nothing goes in this box neither. That's for the shipper or the constant me who's hired that you're paying the lumpers for. Put that authorization signature code there to verify that check when they call. So remember, this is how it goes. Remember that long number? I'm going to show y'all. 1 8 0 9 2 4 1 7 0 1 
1-800-800-4804. There you go. That's that long authorization number. You see it? So, now, let's just put your driver's license number. We're going to just say it's 333 three 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 five 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 three 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 that's what we're gonna make it because this is an example let's just say it's New York that's how you're gonna do that then you're gonna put fifty dollars here uh, we're gonna make up a date leave this blank I always leave this blank and I let them fill that out pay order to and all you do is just you just write how much you 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 paying them. There you go. And that's it. Now, when you done with this, they're gonna give you a receipt with your paperwork. So now we're gonna go from that to when you gotta do when you drop off your 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 um your load at the the constant meet. I dropped off at a Walmart DC. Here's that fifty dollars. Now, when I do my trip sheet to send this in to get paid on Transflow, just the confirmation number that you're gonna get on your Transflow. This is your trip. Um, that's your trip barcode. That's your barcode. So technically, let me show you. Like, if you went to, let me cancel. Let me show y'all. Cancel. And let's just say I was already unloaded. You'll go to macro five. Arrive. Oh, it's macro six actually. Empty call. Now down here at the bottom, lumper load unload. You will put yes in there. You'll put the $50, the barcode is going to be this number right here, that one four, that one one four three two six one two. that's going to be your barcode, so I'm going to put that in there to give y'all a good idea, um, one one four three two six one two. now, your your barcode trip number my trip number was on this trip was you see it right there 136 so it's gonna be 136 and that's how that goes let me put this in $50 that's how that goes because you can't add the dot so you just put 50 Lumper loaded or unloaded, you'll put yes, and that's how that, that section looks. Plus the rest of your information for your trip goes up here. So, give me a second, Qualcomm slowing up on me. Okay, and the rest is part of that trip information, but that's not what this video is about. Let me cancel that. Now, from there, on your trip sheet, you're going to put your truck number, your driver ID code, you're going to put your trip number, the date that your load was picked up, your trailer number that you was pulling that day. Then, you're going to do the shipper's name and the constant need name, which was Walmart, who signed for the proof of delivery, Walmart DC. OSD means was there any de damage to the product? You put no. Did you report any OSDs? No. Now, if there is damage to the product, you will hit yes, yes, and you will have to call your your um your dispatcher for this exception new number, exception number for OSD. Now, on the rest of your trip, the city where you picked up from the shipper, I was in Jersey. That's where I picked it up. I dropped off at that Walmart and Illinois. Now over here, description, that PO number. Remember that PO number that's right here? That oh, that 0453873? That's what goes right here. 
plus the amount and the description lumper now let's just say you need a trailer washout you will put the same thing trailer washout that PO number and the amount and that's how that goes so remember this is the same procedure with this checkbook if it was TCH or EFS checks it's still the same procedure the only difference is your money code or your card number would be different than mine nothing goes in these two gray boxes nothing go in this white box these white boxes that's for the shipper or the constantly to do for you alright so I wanted to bring y'all that video real quick and this your boy sinister y'all already know so I hope that help a lot of y'all out and this was the example so don't think if you try to use these numbers it's gonna work for you cuz it's not but that's how that goes alright YouTube and that's it peace out